now uh, the screening process medical screening process this is in detail if you don't want to know this but you want to know this later only it is fine but if you are preparing for afmc it is good to know this because some of them like bmi etc you might have to maintain you might have only another two weeks for you to get to know all the criteria and see whether you are eligible let us say you lose by a margin it will be an issue so if you want to know what all they test you can have a look at it what happens at the medical examination this is basis candidates representation basically many candidates uh, mentioning it over uh, directly or over uh, different uh, uh, conversations etc so here we have taken up everything this might change every year there might be minor changes the standards might not change but the process might change every year the medical standards are already available so keep a look at what are the change, ch uh, changes but here we are trying to help you out with last years or previous years information day one you will go in in the morning uh, you will go fasting so 12 hours of fasting is mandating mandated so prior to the reporting time you should not have uh, eaten anything taken anything before 12 hours and candidates are divided into two batches for a day one batch starts usually at 7 a.m and another batch at 8 a.m this is the usual reporting time they'll clearly mention that in your notification when they call for blood test urine test and x-ray is taken on day one day one also includes document verification you will have to take your documents on day one usually the original certificates what are the original certificates all the original certificates uh, your 10th 12th mark sheet uh, your admit card scorecard etc all that you need to take uh, your uh, uh, birth certificate or aadhar etc all that you need to take based on the documents we'll tell you the documents this in case you don't have originals with you because you have been admitted in some other uh, uh, some other uh, seat all india round one the, there you have given your originals at that point it might be okay to take copies but admission you have to take your originals this is the test screening process you have not been selected so for the selection it is okay if you take uh, copies but admission time you need your originals urine or blood sample is collected like we said test on english as a uh, language and reasoning happens on day one and interview round also happens on day one so this is the day one usual timeline and second day you have 8 hours of fasting required, again reporting in 2 batches, 7 am and 8 am, all texts uh, conducted in a single continuous batch, one batch goes in, for all the batchmates, one by one they will conduct the test, medical in investigations using uh, uh, include ultrasound, uh, dental examination, for women, uh, female candidates you have gynecology test, uh, ENT examination and eye examination, uh, the basic tests which are there and the power range is also acceptable, power range is mentioned and from, for periodics, in the periodics department you will undergo a height and weight check, blood pressure and breathing test and musculoskeletal and physical assessment, limb flexibility and activity etc, jumping and all, they will actually ask you to do all these and medical board review is conducted. Once these tests are done, the reports are shared with the medical board and this will consist of three officers and they will recommend or uh, US fit or unfit for AFMS. So basically all these reports from various tests will go into the medical board and the medical board officers will declare every person as fit or unfit at the end of day two. Post examination fit candidates can go home. Why? You have already conducted, uh, completed the tests. So the fit candidates will go home. Uh, here itself you will have also the uh, PAT, we have missed that. So you would have completed this test, this test. So your 80 marks, 50 marks is also done and all your medical screening is also done so all you need to do is if you are fit you can go home they will let you know when you are selected at a later point in time so last time it took four days for them to provide the list after all these last let us say you start on uh, first day itself seven days this will happen for multiple candidates after that they will take three or four days to finalize based on the total marks that time you can look at the results if you are unfit then you have one day again on day three you can go through the tests where you are unfit they'll tell you these tests let us say you did not clear this test but i think that i can clear but i made a mistake at that point in time can i re-attend the test each test you can re-attend by paying 40 rupees per test they will ask you to reappear in the test and then re-evaluate and if you have cleared will declare you fit on the next day that is possible on day three next we will go to afmc medical standard see what we looked at is the process what will happen, which departments you will go in, etc. We will look at the medical standards of AFMC. Still, we are not experts in this. Uh, the medical standards, we have read through the medical standards and we are taking it to you. So, we will look at the physical standards. First, height related criteria. For male candidates, 157 centimeters is the criteria and female candidates, 152 centimeter. Minimum, 
this height should be there that is the criteria growth elements for less than 18 years let us say you are greater than 18 years then this is the criteria very clear if you are less than 18 years when you are going you are 17 years only obviously many of them who completed their 12th and immediately going for need will be 17 years or 17 and a half years for you 2 centimeter lesser is fine 155 centimeter or 150 centimeter for girls that is acceptable if you are less than 17 i am 24 years old this is the criteria for those candidates who belong to hilly regions or northeast the criteria is slightly lesser by 5 centimeter so 152 centimeter 147 centimeter for candidates belonging to hilly area hills or northeast region next weight standards minimum weight as per official height weight chart they will have a bmi chart based on your height or weight there is a minimum weight criteria overweight criteria is also there that bmi should be less than 27 very clearly the body mass index that chart is also available you can have a look at that chart waist hips ratio should be less than 0.9 for male and less than 0.8 for female if you want any if you have any confusion you can also call us we'll try to get experts to help you out as well waist circumference male or female less than 94 or less than 89 centimeters straightforward things only but still if you have confusion you can call us this is a long list of criteria we might not be experts here but we have put down every criteria so that it is clear for you and there is no confusion beyond this too it is a big document 70 79 pages document too there is a bigger document too if you want to go through everything you can go through alternate option is pretty simple you are a little confused apply for afmc go to afmc and then check i don't know whether i will be able to do this because i have this particular deformity i don't know whether it will be a deformity issue etc first thing try to figure out from this yes go to afmc let us say they say it is an issue yeah you would have gone to afmc some effort yeah it is difficult you could have understood it earlier itself but let us say they say that it is not an issue you are not clear when you are going always better because you get afmc because you went ahead and put in that effort the medical fitness standards no skeletal deformities etc no speech impediment no heart or blood vessels disease no pulmonary tb or lung diseases that is why they chase, take the x-ray uh, no digestive system disease normal liver and uh, spleen uh, abdominal usg ultrasound, ultrasound is taken no hernia uh, and all these different defects that are mentioned genital organ defect etc uh, they do check everything hernia operated candidates are fit if 12 plus weeks post-op you have taken a hernia operation but post-op it is 12 weeks good abdominal tone and no recurrence or complications are expected female candidates will undergo a gynecological and uh, usg ultrasound examination uh, no piles or fistula no kidney disease etc no skin disease no sexually transmitted diseases hiv or related infections no epilepsy psychiatric or mental disorder no squint or eyelid or eye uh, disorders no trachoma or complications no um, abnormal lymph node enlarge uh, lymph, no, lymph node enlargements so all these are different criteria if you have these you might know of these if you don't have this don't need to worry you can still go there directly visual standards uh, you can just look at the visual standards uh, uh, short sight and long uh, long sight criteria is also given uh, minus 3.5 to plus 3.5 and uh, astigmatism is also given and color vision is also clearly mentioned lasik it is not allowed if done before 20 years of age. Earlier procedures might, will be permanently unfit very clearly. The earlier procedures before this LASIK, those will also be unfit. Uh, at the time of surgery, made fit. Uh, so at the time of surgery, about 20 years. In case you have done LASIK or equivalent, at the time of surgery, you should have been more than 20 years. Minimum 12 months pass and all these criteria is applicable. You can go through that and you can also consult with your ophthalmologist if these criteria are applicable in case you have gone through a LASIK. Similarly, for the uh, keratorefractive procedure too, they have given up, uh, given uh, the date of surgery and the type of procedure has to be intimated to, for them to evaluate. Hearing standards, uh, conversation voice test is something that happens. This is not a marking test. You will have to pass this test if needed, speech tests and audiometric records will also be used. We mentioned that these tests, uh, hearing tests will also happen. Candidates uh, will must hear a forced whis whisper with each ear and uh, standing with back of the examiner at a distance and then in a reasonably quiet room. All these are very, very standard and uh, for the AFMC, uh, AFMC medical fitness test uh, uh, and a detailed hearing assessment will be done if abnormality is suspected. Uh, the distance and everything is very clearly mentioned and 50% of words is also the criteria. Mm -hmm.